this guy, Sean White, he's a pioneer in XR. One of the things that he talked to me about that just completely blew my mind is they had this incredibly important river that all of these industries and farms and all humans use. Mm -hmm. And each one of the companies that was around these rivers had installed all kinds of sensors mm -hmm. into the water quality of the river. And each one of them had detailed information that was purely centric to that business, whether it was farming and agriculture or whether it was manufacturing or whatever, right? Mm. The problem was that the river was dying and everybody on that river was going to be completely impacted by that. Mm. And so they had tried to save this river in so many ways, but all the information was so siloed. So they ended up applying artificial intelligence to this river ecosystem, and there was just too much information. But instead of having that information, they started to talk to the river, mm -hmm. and they started to have this emotional conversation where literally they gave the river a personality, mm -hmm. and they could say, how are you doing today? What's the problem on like that river band? And they could have a human conversation with all of this data. Mm. So I think you're going to be able to talk to your car and go, how you doing today, buddy? Like, how's that left wheel going? You know, <laughs> like right. there's going to be a different interface with our machines. It's not real. Mm -hmm. It is artificial. But that synthetic conversation, it means that machines meet us where we are as mm -hmm. humans. And that whole idea of the evolution of natural language processing reaches this point where I don't have to worry about the minutiae because basically the machine has got that.